Hey guys, happy Friday. I'm so excited about this new series that I'm going to be doing on my channel, which will be every Friday. Um, I'll just be doing different series of topics, so if there's anything that you guys want to know, feel free to just, you know, hit me down in the comments and let me know about whatever it is that you want to talk about. Today's topic is going to be, as you all know, a teen, teen parent or teen pregnancy. I don't know, whatever, which one I decide to name it. Um, and I was actually a teen parent. A lot of people don't realize that I was a teen parent, but I started off um, having children at a young age. Um, I had my son when he was, I mean, I had my son when I was about, I got pregnant about 17 and a half, and then I had him by the time I was 18. 18, you're still a teenager. A lot of people, young people think, oh, I'm 18, I'm grown. No, you're not grown until you have a job, until you pay your bills, until you are making responsible adult decisions. That's when you are technically an adult. And technically, you're really not an adult until you're 21. So anyways, I really felt like this was a, a good thing, a good topic to talk about today because it's very, it's very, very, very prevalent in our world now. Very, there's so many young people who are having children at an early age and I'm not, you know, trying to bash any young girls or anything, but you know, a lot of it comes from starting at home, you know. What happened at home? What was taking place at home with the parents? How the parents raising the children? Blah blah blah. Um, so just to give you guys a little bit of history, my mother actually got pregnant with me, same age. She was like seventeen and a half, eighteen, and um, she never married. She now has eight kids. Um, so my grandmother had my mother when she was young. So it's just kind of like a generational thing. It just kind of continued to happen. My sister had my niece, and she was like 16, so we were actually both pregnant at the same time. She was 16, I was 18. Um, most of the time, it's just from having sex without using protection. Most of the time, that's why, you know, we wound up getting pregnant. For me, it was different. I actually wanted to get pregnant. I wanted a baby. The reason why I wanted a baby so bad was because I had grown up feeling so rejected and feeling like, I didn't matter and I you know I grew up as the oldest child so I was the oldest out of seven children um, all together eight and then my I didn't know my father that well um, I didn't really technically meet him until I was about I think I was 11 and a half years old so I went through life you know in some time where I just didn't have a relationship with him and um, it definitely had, it showed me a lot about myself, but I felt so, I felt like I just, I was missing something and I didn't know what it was. And it, I was hurt, you know, I didn't understand why he wasn't there. And then I finally found the background that if you guys want to know more, I actually did a video about this story about when I first met my dad, which you can check that out right here. Um, but me really, the, the desire for me really wanting a child was because I just, I felt like there was this void in my life that was missing that was that needed to be filled and I didn't understand how to fill it I didn't understand why I felt the way I felt but I, I remember like daydreaming and be like you know I wish I would find a baby on the street and you know I could take care of it you know like silly stuff from watching movies you know um, because I was the oldest child I gained a lot of responsibilities. I was cooking, I was cleaning, I was washing clothes, I was watching my brothers and sisters a lot. Um, and, you know, a, a lot when I feel like, I feel like God definitely created me to be the, the like mother type. But as a child, I didn't understand that then. So, um, I'm pretty, that's pretty much my character now. A lot of people say, oh, Deja's the mom, you know. A bit, I, don't, I don't mind that because I feel like I'm the one who keeps everybody in order, who keeps their minds right, you know. Sometimes I step out of bounds, but I try, not, I try not to be like that all the time. But anyway, so back to the baby thing. I wanted a baby really bad, and so I met my husband, who was then my boyfriend, and I think it was about six months in our relationship. If you guys want to also know about our relationship, um, about us being married, and how we got married young, you can check that out right up here also. And um, so we met about six months into our relationship. I told him, I said, I want a baby. And 
for some reason he didn't say no and it was strange because we didn't know each other that long but I don't know he said yes I guess that really showed his love for me and so he said yes and um, shortly after that I was about three months pregnant and we actually wound up getting married after that um, well we got married no I'm lying so he asked me to marry him three months after I was pregnant and when I first told my parents my, my, my father was a little upset but my mother's side you know it, they weren't really upset it was just like you know you know my aunt had her baby young she had her babies at 16 too so my mom my grandmother it was just you know they all had their children young so it was um they weren't really upset they were like her congratulating me and um you know there was still something inside of me that wanted to do it the right way you know i wanted to be married before i had kids i didn't grow up that way seeing that but there was still part of me that wanted to be married and so i remember when i first had my son so first of all if you guys want to know about my labor and delivery stories please let me know because i would love to share them um, as you all know, I have five children, and I would, I would love to share my story about my labor and delivery. Um, I have different experiences with each child. But with my son, I was in labor for about seven hours, and um, I was very small. I mean, I, I am small now, but I was really, really small, and um, a lot smaller than I am now. I only gained about 20 pounds while I was pregnant, which was not a lot for me at that time because I was only like 100 pounds already. So <clears throat> that just made me like... Well, I was about 115, so um, I was about 100, maybe 35, 40, something like that. So labor and delivery was hard. I was only in labor for about seven hours, but it was hard. Finally, my son comes out, and then reality strikes. Um, when I got home, I remember feeling really overwhelmed um, because I just didn't understand what I was going to do after that. And I started thinking, like, you know, am I going to be a single parent? Like, how am I going to be able to raise my son by myself? And it was hard. I, I wasn't living in my own home at the time. I left my grandmother's. Uh, no, I was living at someone's. Wait, how was it? Was it? Yeah, I was living at my friend's mother's house. But a month after, uh, a couple of weeks after that, I wound up going to live with my grandmother. Um, it was a lot easier at my grandmother's house. And she really helped me out and, you know, just spoke to me just gave me wisdom and um it was hard and at that time my husband had already asked me to marry him so that we actually had like a break in between and we wound up get finally getting married after my son was three months um keep in mind we were still young parents we were only night uh but 18 i was almost 19 and it was it was pretty hard um you know i i you know, the reason why I really wanted to do this video is because I just wanted to speak to any young girls right now who are desiring to have children, you know. I would say it's, it's you know, wait. I watched a lot of my friends grow up and have children and before they were married or before they were with the person that they knew they were going to be with. And they just struggled. And it's, it's not a pretty thing to see. Um, and it actually kind of hurt because I was just getting married. And even though I was struggling in my marriage at the time, I had somebody to help me versus my friends who they didn't have anybody to help them. And, and you know, by the grace of God, he really blessed me with a beautiful family, a beautiful husband. First of all, my husband grew up in a, in a, in a household where he was raised correctly. So that helps a lot. And, um, you know, if you desire to have a baby, just hold off, you know, go to school, graduate high school. I didn't graduate high school. I didn't get to have my own apartment. I didn't get to have roommates. I didn't get to experience none of that. I barely went to parties like that. So it was like, you know, it was like here and there. I just, I really didn't get to enjoy my childhood. Even from being a child, I didn't get to enjoy it. Because I, I went through so much. So by the time I turned 18, I just thought I was grown. And it was time to have kids, you know. Um, because that's what I grew up seeing. And, you know, I just really wanted to... You know, if there's any advice I can give you, just wait. Write down some goals for yourself. You know, things that you would like to accomplish and try to accomplish those things. And if you can, wait until you get married. Like, don't just have kids just because you want kids. Don't just have kids out of wedlock. Get married. That way you can do it the right way, the way that God wants you to do it. And that way your body can be kept for that one man. 
it is it's not a good thing when I think about all the people that I mess with and, and suck with it's embarrassing because they saw my body they know what I'm like and then I marry my husband and he's he he's basically with someone that he had to share with you know like basically he shared me with those other guys if you if you really want to be technical so it's it's really not a good feeling because if I'm, I'm pretty much still around a lot of the people that I see and when I get around them I feel a little uncomfortable you know because we did share relations so girls even you guys wait before you have babies try to find the right one that you want to be with and really seek God on it just you know even if a little prayer you just ask him to give you direction to show you what to do you know I met my husband out of desire because I wanted to marry him I prayed and he came and it was literally about a week later to a week to two weeks later when I met him so you know I hope this video encourages any of you who are young even if you're not young and you want to get married um you know just just hold off just wait just wait don't rush it just stand still and let God speak to you just see what he wants to do because sometimes he wants to work on you before you have children and before you get married so that is the end of this video I tried to make it short for you guys so it wasn't all long and drawn out but um if you can relate and you understand this topic and you've been in this situation comment below and tell me your story you know if you had a baby if you had a baby young tell me how old you were and how'd you feel when you you know had your first child and um yeah if you like this video don't forget to like it and subscribe and guys also don't forget to hit that bell twice because if you hit it once you're not going to be completely notified when i have a video so hit it twice and it will completely let you know whenever i upload a video so today's our friday today's friday's video was our like jesus topics and chit chat so stay tuned for more fridays and i will see you guys on monday with my brand new vlog have a great week